Next time anyone asks me why I live in Boston, I'm just going to tell them I have no idea. <laughs>
and then there's also an actual prism here. So basically what we have behind us, we set up a couple different backdrops. We have a blue muslin and then also kind of a camel colored seamless paper backdrop. And then we have a big spotlight right here. Basically the spotlight will shine light through this prism right here. And if you hold that right up to your camera, you will get kind of that cool reflection effect. Same thing with the filter if you have this on your camera. And we just have one basic LED light right here, just lighting the front of the face for the subject. We're not really doing full body here. So basically just head and shoulders and it kind of blurs out around the back and gets you that nice cool bokeh behind you. This is a video setup behind me actually. So we're not shooting this setup, but our awesome productions team is shooting what you see right here behind me. So this is also the prism set. So running along the same theme of what we just shot over there with the photos and the prisms, but this is video. And so the players are moving, they're in motion. We like to have kind of a thematic connection between the photo shoot and the video shoot and have them kind of give the same look. So same thing, prism going in front of the camera right here, a couple different lights, the spotlight, and it kind of creates that really cool effect. Okay, so those are the three setups that we're working with. We got players coming any minute now, so we're gonna all get in position. We'll knock it out. have it another photo day in the books it's fast it's furious we shot 75 total players coaches and staff members so i want to walk you through what the results look like so to recap here we have two setups the first setup is our standard go-to white seamless look this is something we do every year really nice clean easy to look at portraits that are very versatile for any of our marketing needs whether that be graphics motion gifts or anything else, or working on their own as a standalone portrait. Remember, this is a five light setup, two lights in the front, two lights on the backdrop, and one rim light behind, giving the subject just a little bit of edge and separation. And our second look is our prism look, and this will act as a creative thread throughout much of the marketing material that we put out this year. Now you'll see here, I was able to execute two different sets. The first set is kind of a cool look with cooler tones in blues and greens. And the second set is more of a warmer look in the gold yellow range. These two complement each other nicely as far as the color scale. And also just nice to have a little variety throughout so you don't have the same exact photo 75 times over. Now the kind of hazy dreamy effects you see on these photos and you see how it kind of falls off on the edges of the photos. That was all achieved with the prism lens effects, prisms as well as some of the filters that they use, combining that with continuous LED light at various color temperatures. So that's how it all comes together. I gotta say, I am exhausted. This always happens after photo day. It's fast, it's furious, it's all happening in a blur and before you know it, it's all over. But I'm super happy with the results and I'm incredibly proud of our group, of our team for coming together and making this happen in circumstances that none of us are used to working in. So those are the results, that's what you see in the video. But if you have any questions about what you saw, make sure you drop them in a comment below. I'm happy to answer or talk through any of the processes that you saw in the video to get this shoot done. And if not, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more cool content coming from spring training and beyond. So make sure you stop back and check it out for more. But until then, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you at the next one.